Hello, all you big, beautiful brains out there. Today, we're going to talk about IO psychologist Lillian Gilbreth. Before we get started, take a minute to subscribe to Psy vs. Psy. Help out your friendly neighborhood psychologist while I tell you all about the mother of modern management herself, Lillian Gilbreth. Now, the mother of modern management seems like this huge title, but if anyone ever deserved it, it was Lillian Gilbreth. Let's talk about who she was, and then we'll get into why she is so important to you. Born Lillian Evelyn Mahler, she originally thought she would be a teacher and went to UC Berkeley, where she studied English Lit and graduated with honors, becoming the first woman to be asked to speak at Berkeley's graduation ceremony. She then went to Columbia University in New York to get her master's, but wasn't allowed to work with the famous writer she wanted to study under because, well, he wouldn't allow women to attend his lectures. <laughs> you see, Gilbreth did all of this in the year 1900, a time when women weren't viewed all that positively. Her struggles became the thing of scientific legend, however, because she did get the opportunity to work under the renowned psychologist Edward Thorndike, who sparked her interest in psychology. Shortly after she moved back to Berkeley, where she met and married her husband, Frank Gilbreth, after obtaining her master's in English literature. Her husband was an engineer who recognized her keen abilities at understanding the human experience and encouraged her to go back to school for training in psychology. During this time, Gilbreth also discovered her aptitude for engineering under her husband's training. Gilbreth figured out a huge flaw in the way that most engineers approached a product or construction up to that point in time. You see, up to then, most engineers looked at the way the product could be most productive, but didn't really pay attention to things like consumer happiness or if the product was easy to use for the consumer. Gilbreth was so good at pointing out the perspectives of consumers that she wrote her dissertation on it. Now, the university actually denied her her doctorate, not based on the quality of her work, but because she hadn't fulfilled the requirement of living on campus during her final year of school. Instead, Gilbreth lived with her husband and family. But she didn't let it hold her back. Gilbreth published her dissertation as a book, and she and her husband went on to work together for many years and published a ton of books, mostly on increasing worker efficiency and happiness. She did later get that PhD from Brown University in 1915, and then three days later, she gave birth to her and Frank's seventh child. So, why should you care about Lillian Gilbreth? Well, if you have shelves in your refrigerator doors, you can thank Lillian Gilbreth. If you've ever used a trash can with a foot pedal or an employee suggestion box, you can thank Lillian Gilbreth. Gilbreth used psychology and science to help make our daily lives better. For instance, she once brought in over 4,000 women just to get the right height for a stove that she was working on. Before her scientific testing, companies just didn't pay attention to things like how easy products were to use for the consumer. If you live in a modern house, Gilbreth also helped with the layout of your kitchen. She came up with the modern work triangle so that your fridge, sink, and stove are laid out in an easy-to-use configuration. Gilbreth was the ultimate human factor psychologist, designing things ergonomically to increase user happiness. Gilbreth used IO psychology to help shape our modern world. She was the first female professor of engineering at Purdue, the first woman elected to the National Academy of Engineering, and is one of only two women ever to win the Hoover Medal. That's the U.S. Award for Outstanding Engineering Contributions to Humanity. If you want to know more about the amazing psychologist Lillian Gilbreth, I highly recommend the book and movie about her life with her children, Cheaper by the Dozen. And if you want to find out more about IO Psychology, make sure you subscribe to Psy vs. Psy so you can get all of our other videos and you can learn all about the science of psychology. Until next time, keep thinking, and I'll see y'all later. Bye! I'd say if you want to know more about Lillian Gilbreth, you should really read one of the books she wrote with her husband. But they were published under her husband's name because, you know, she was a woman. 
Misogyny. Waka waka. Thank you.